the other part of our, our testing is now we're looking at insulation levels, we're looking for um, opportunities to air seal and insulate. Um, in this particular home, this basement is unfinished, so there's actually a lot of opportunity to air seal around what's called the rim, which is where the, the joists sit on top of the foundation wall all the way around. There's penetrations through it. Um, over in this corner, you can see a pipe going through. There's a, you want to seal these up, and you want to seal the rim up and, and get it nice and tight. This particular home uh, has had some, some of, these, some of the sealants been done. So this is a, this is a fire rated foam, uh, spray foam sealant. You can tell by the color. So this, the door is now gone. A single door has been put in. And you can see that spray foam, they've gone through and spray foamed all the gaps and cracks all the way around the door. And now the next phase is to insulate the wall. That's it. Everywhere. So we're looking at, you know, a lot of how this particular house, starting at the bottom level, has just a basement. A lot of homes have crawl spaces. Typically those crawl spaces are associated with newer additions. Um, so I'm going into the crawl spaces. Um, then as you go up through the house, up to the upper level, we've got attics that I, I'm getting into. There are houses that are uh, one and a half stories. That half story will have half attic spaces with knee walls. So I'm getting into those areas. So we want to have access to the entire house. You can see looking up here that we've got, uh, we have a lot of duct work up here. This house has the air conditioning. I mentioned before it's a, a hot water heat. Air conditioning's up in the attic. Um, the attic is considered uh, outside the thermal envelope. The thermal envelope is the, that line between inside and outside, which is something that we're, we determine with every audit. So the thermal envelope is, is basically where your insulation is placed. Um, it's the, the line between inside and outside, the line between conditioned and unconditioned space. So the attic is an unconditioned space. This second level is conditioned. So our thermal envelope line is the ceiling. So you need to think about your house in all those respects. It needs to be airtight and it needs to be insulated. So that's the, a lot of, you know, that's the idea. Now, a lot of times um, houses have uh, storage areas up in their attic and it's difficult to air seal a storage area. So we'd have to go up there and pull up some of the floor to be able to access those areas that we want to air seal. Mm -hmm.